you would think they would get on the bandwagon of what we have a stock market that's a hundred points off of you know a record twenty two twenty two thousand is already at a record. It broke another yeah, record today. True. There's he's broken thirty records in the last you know three four months. I mean it's just skyrocketing. You look at oil prices and how good that is right for this. You look at infrastructure, all the pipelines and, and things that are going in. You look at the military, what he's doing. You look at the VA and what he's doing. I mean, tax reform, which he obviously wants to get done, which would be incredible for this country. You look at consumer confidence. You look at, you know, building in, in, in America. I mean, so many incredible things that are being done. And all they want to focus on is, is, is Russia and the scandal. And I guarantee you, if you watch the mainstream media, the only thing that they're going to talk about is Anthony for the next you know, two weeks, Four days, three, 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 know. whatever it is. But they won't talk about the stock market. They won't talk about people's 401ks. They won't talk about the Regulation economy. gone, the promises kept. I mean, it's, it's amazing. That's you know, uh, this country's $4 trillion richer. $4 trillion richer under my father in the first six months. I'm and, and, and disappointed. Where is that? I mean, but, where is but that? But the Republicans are not only... They're, they all ran on repeal and replace, Eric. Your father, as he said, you guys have made this promise now for seven years. I have a pen in hand. I'm ready to sign it. And the things that your father made the camp, promises on the campaign trail he's kept. But not only that, they've allowed this phony Russian narrative to go out for so long. But yet we've got Ukraine collusion. We got Uranium One. We got the email server scandal, which we know laws were broken. You got Comey leaking. The general counsel we learned of the FBI last week is, is leaking. Loretta Lynch, they're not even using the power of subpoena sure. to investigate what I truly see is real evidence, real crimes. And Sean, my father said it. I mean, he said it in a couple weeks ago in a, in a tweet. He said, you know, am I ha going to have to carry this whole weight on my shoulder? I mean, when are some of the people in my own party going to start protecting me? And I feel this well. Listen, I'm an outsider. I'm looking in on the White House, right? I mean, I'm running our, our company. But, I mean, I want somebody to start fighting for him. You know, and he's, he's the best fighter in the world. He will do a better job fighting him for, for himself than all of them will do fighting for him. But, mm -hmm. I mean, how much weight does he have to carry by himself. How can a party that is doing so much better than the Democrats, if you look at how much more money the Republicans are raising, you look at the complete shambles that the DNC is, you know, is in, you know, the DNC is in debt. The Republicans are raising seven times on a monthly basis what the DNC are, like, why wouldn't they embrace that? Why wouldn't they carry out it? My father has the voice of this country. The people of this country love him. Why wouldn't they get in line? It doesn't make sense, especially keeping promises is good it. politics.